Hi, Michelle here from My Kids Time um, on our usual Thursday night Facebook Live slot. So tonight I am going to be doing some science experiments for you. Um, it's Science Week this week here in Ireland, so I know we were due to do a craft box, but I'm going to put that off till next week and just do um, seven simple science experiments um, that require no specialist equipment. Um, there's nothing dangerous in them. Um, there's no acids or there's no powders. There's no potions to be used. So hopefully um, you'll enjoy it. And um, it is live. I have practiced them, but let's just hope for the best. Okay, so the first one um, is really simple. It involves um, a sheet of paper, some um, black marker and a glass of water. So as you can see, um, I have just drawn two arrows onto the page and um, this is to do with the way that light is refracted. So what I'll do now is I will hold the glass up in front of the picture and you will see what happens hopefully. So the arrow on the bottom has changed direction. Hope you can see that. If I move the glass away, you can see that it hasn't um, moved on the page. But when you move the glass back in front, it has moved on the image. So this is just to do with the way that light is reflected um, through water and it turns um, everything backwards. So that's a really quick and easy one that the kids can use to impress their friends. Um, so that's my first experiment. The second one involves um, some uh, kitchen roll and a black marker and you simply um, draw a line onto the uh, kitchen roll with the black marker. Just, I'll show you now, I'm doing that here. Um, so it's just a single line quite close to the bottom. And when you hold the kitchen roll in water, the water starts to travel up the kitchen roll. And you can see hopefully there that the black is separating into different colors. So the first color that comes out is blue. And the second color that comes out there is a pink. And then the third color is a yellow. So that's just a really um, nice trick. Hopefully you can see that there. I'm not sure it's coming out very well um, just on the camera. But um, trust me, when you do it in person, um, it's a really cool trick. So you just hold the kitchen roll with the line on it in the water. And as the water travels up through the kitchen roll, it begins to separate the black out into the different colors that the black's composed of. So that was um, a one that the girls Love today. So after this post, I'll um, add some uh, links up for other experiments that we have to make slime, to make bubbles, um, to do all sorts of fun tricks. So the next one I have is one that could go wrong, but hopefully won't. Um, I have a plate underneath to catch it if it does. So this is simply um, a sealed. Um, sandwich bag it's a ziploc bag which i've filled with water and sealed and i have a skewer and this really wowed my girls earlier if you um push the skewer through the bag you expect that all the water is going to um leak out hopefully it won't so i'm just going to push it through there and you can see da -da, no leaks so that's a really cool experiment. You can also um, add a pencil. It works just as well. I'll turn it around so you can see that here. Hopefully we'll have no leaks again this time. Uh, a little bit, but not much. So that's to do with the way that the plastic is made up. It's to do with um, the structure of plastic. So you can get the kids going on that one and they can wow their friends. I would advise um, putting a tray, but I'm happy to put it over my head and you can see it's not leaking. So yeah, that's one that they can do with their friends, which is really good fun. Um, the next experiment I have is one that I'm going to show you with a potato and a straw. Now, um, a straw is bendy, as you can see, 
um, it's not a rigid straw and if you do have a straw that has a bendy top just cut that off so this is just a regular potato nothing wrong nothing you know unusual about it and if you try and stick the straw into the potato you can see that it actually won't go and it will just you know bend the straw but if you hold your finger on top of the straw and create a vacuum and then put it into the potato hang on now sorry I'll try it the other way around as I said it is live things can go wrong and the girls were playing with this one earlier I'm just going to get another straw to try this with just a moment I'll be back This is worth waiting for, I promise. It is a really cool experiment to do. So I've got a straw. I'm just going to cut the bendy bit off. And then you hold your finger over the end and you stab the potato with the straw. Oh, this isn't going to work for me now. There it is. And you can see the straw is held, the potato is held up by the straw. So sorry that uh, live uh, for you, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And it is easy to do, I promise. Um, so that's another one that the kids can do really easily that doesn't require much. Um, the next experiment I have involves some pepper and some just washing up liquid, any washing detergent. So a plate and some water. So basically I'm going to put the um, camera down for this one so you can see it on the table. So I have my plate here and to that I'm just going to add some water. And this is just a fun one. It's called dancing pepper. So you grind some pepper into the water and it just sits on the surface, as you can see. Hope you can see that there. Um, I'm using black pepper, so it sh you should be able to. But I just grind some in and the girls were wowed by this one earlier. One of my daughters actually asked if you did this by putting the pepper the washing up liquid to one side would it just go one way but watch what happens when you drop a couple of drops of washing up liquid onto the plate the pepper shoots out to the outside of the plate so that's just interesting for the kids to see and um, it's just that the washing up liquid is um, heavier than the water and it pushes um, the surface tension of the water out so the pepper travels out to the edges of the plate so that's another fun one that they can do the next one involves a lot of water and um, here it is I have a big jar of water here again I'm going to put the camera down for this one so that you can see it actually I might be able to no I am going to put the camera down just in case so it's a big jar of water I have a regular glass and I have some kitchen roll which I've scrunched up but it's fully dry you can see it there I'm just going to put it into the glass you have to make sure that it goes right up to the top of the glass for this one Okay, I'm going to put the camera down so you can see it again. Hang on a second. So you take the glass and you submerge it fully upside down in the water. So you push it right down to the end. When you do this, you have to get it in straight. As you can see, the glass is fully submerged um, in the water and the kitchen roll is still inside it. And when you pull the glass out of the water and then sorry I'll just take this out here for you then you take the kitchen roll out it's still dry so this has to do with the fact that there's air in the glass and the air pushes against the water as the glass is submerged and it keeps the kitchen roll dry so my kids have been doing that one all afternoon so they've really enjoyed it right I have one final um experiment for you uh, which is a good one it involves a can uh, uh, just a regular aluminium can and some water again so hopefully this is going to work I might use a tray just in case it uh, doesn't and it will go all across the kitchen table then so just a moment and I will prep this for you so if you I'm going to put the camera down for this one so as you can see if you hold the can um, and try and balance it it's just going to fall over there's nothing in it um, it's all drunk earlier the girls were delighted they never get fizzy drinks and I had to buy this for them today and um, so you can see that but if you fill um, the can with just a small amount of water so you're lining the end of the can 
not too much, not too little. It takes a bit of practice, this one, but we have been practicing all afternoon. I think there's probably too much water in that. And you tilt the can, it stands up on its own. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so I was really wowed by that one this afternoon. Um, so you can just see there, I'll gently turn it around so you can see it, nothing's holding it. And the can just balances on the um, tray when you fill it with water. That's it there. So hopefully you can see that and enjoyed it. So they are my seven um, science experiments, easy science experiments for the kids to do. I can see lots of hearts, lots of thumbs up. So thank you very much for that. I'm glad you enjoyed them. I will share some other links with you for fun science things that we have over on the website. Um, like I said, we have bubble mixture. We have how to make slime, how to make... Um, honeycomb, how to make um, play-doh, so we've lots of interesting things. And just to go back to this one, you can see now that the colors have split out totally on the black line and it's become just um, green and yellow and pink on there. So that was um, the one we tried earlier by immersing the um, uh, tissue paper just in a glass of water. So hopefully you enjoyed all those guys. Next week I'll be on, I promise, with the craft box and I will be giving you some ideas on what to keep. But this is really um, simple science. It Get the kids interested in it um, and hopefully they'll enjoy doing them too. Take care. Have a lovely week. Talk to you soon. Bye.